I never, I, I did not know you had I think a, I lost a 20, a 16, oh, 15, 14. There we go. I'm so oh. smart. Was this Kithri? All right. I don't know what Kithri is. Uh, so does that extra you voice you're hearing tonight it. is our uh, new production producer? Yes. Producer. New producer. I, I do words. Sakura. Yeah. Who has her own channel, which we will be plugging at various points throughout the show. But thank you we now for joining have us Kithri. today. We do have Kithri. There she is. Yay. Hey. Welcome, yes, Welcome to, to the Mercenaries of Mischief on tonight, this special, most holiest of nights, the Wednesday night. The hallowed domain of Acquisition C Team and you know other shows that are very popular. But today is about us. So, <laughs> we are taking on the Tomb of Horrors today. And these fine four people have donated their beloved characters, whom you have watched grow and evolve. Whoa, over the years. who said anything about donating? Hold on. <laughs> no, no, look who at that. about growing and evolving. Shh, Wait a minute. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine you're probably all going to be fine. And I'm going to introduce them all in no particular order right now. Starting with the ever fiery, frequently exasperated, and uh, perhaps perhaps hiding other layers that we may explore later in the season, Miss Keithry Teeley. <laughs> we got to talk about it later. I was thinking about it all day. <laughs> uh, also joining us, uh, frequently a bear, uh, occasionally a panther, but always a cleric of Salune. Yeah. Miss Gilbetta fucking not. We don't talk about the panther thing. We, we, don't, don't, talk we don't talk about the panther thing. We don't talk about the panther too. <laughs> Traumatizing experience, perhaps. Yeah. It was. I can the panther say, didn't like being it a, much either. <laughs> being a panther is pretty traumatizing <laughs> in my experience. Third, we have, uh, <laughs> You know, she's got a god right now, but she's open to suggestions. She doesn't want the party to die, so please listen to her. We have Rolda. <laughs> Hi. I'm here. <laughs> and last but not least, remarkable celestial tri uh, tactician. <laughs> I say this with incredible sarcasm. <laughs> Gibu that, 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 that stung. Thank you. Wow. I deserve it, but it hurt. You Wait. you have been lacerated, sir. When I have there. <laughs> by my serpent's there. tongue. This bleeding already. <laughs> so then, <sighs> let's set the scene. Oh, I don't do, have are we not doing announcements? Oh, are we doing announcements? We have announcements. Go go announce away. Are we doing? Oh, it again? <laughs> well, I did. Okay, we'll save it for the half. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting, but we'll save it for the half. We'll save it. For okay, okay, we'll save we it for the it. half. We'll do it in the we half. We'll, right, we'll do it in the half. half. Do I we answer? No, it's fine. You, usually, I talk about what happened in the previous episode, but there is no previous episode. This is a special game. Miss Gilbetta fucking not. Yes, what? Headmistress of the Avalon Knights Academy. You have received an invitation. The invitation is calling for the most powerful adventuring parties across the land to challenge the legendary Tomb of Asararak. So was Known Rodan unavailable, some, or is that why Keith As the... <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. That's I'm kidding. harsh. I lost the bet. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> look, you thought about Rodan, but you knew Rodan was going to trigger every trap. I know, yeah, that's exactly 100%. Is, he was going to lick the walls. A lot of shit was going to go down. <laughs> Yeah, but he'd survive at least the first few rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not here. Not here. <laughs> but anyways. We'll see. I don't know. You've been talking this up for a while. So. Yeah, I know, right? I can't possibly live up to expectations. So you have received... going in without a rogue. Nothing could possibly go wrong. You got Yee this invitation. <laughs> and you have assembled a team of your most level-headed and competent members that you could that were in the building when you received the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kithri would have Kithri would have definitely been at the top of my list, but yeah. <laughs> you, you, I imagine the envelope was opened 
a tertiary glance around the inn was taken. Ah, shit. And it was, oh, thank God, Keisha, he's here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so you have uh, gone to the address on this invitation. It leads you far to the east. Uh, Are we going to a dungeon? Absolutely. There is almost yeah. no question about that. Eh? Yeah, dungeons are my favorite. Make sure you make sure you bring your, you your new toy. Your Four. The, and the you were, uh, how many mm -hmm. different parties you were in those four dungeons with? Seven. Four. <laughs> I kind of thought so, eh? Well, <laughs> let's hope we break that run, eh? But it's exciting. And sometimes you meet gods there. Uh, For sure, sometimes you meet your own Thanks for coming, Keith. We're really glad you're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, Jibet, it's your idea. You go first, eh? What? Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm a leader, well, and leaders dictate. <laughs> you, you go first. You have We're not even there yet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're, the, the address given to you uh, is an area in the Grey Peak Mountains. It says that uh, a, a wealthy benefactor who remains vague and nameless in the invitation, has agreed to hand out... <laughs> I know that face. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> has agreed to hand out a fabulous prize to any adventurers that can make it to the end and defeat the legendary tomb of the Sararak. And as you... Did, oh. the, did the messenger uh, who delivered this happen to say, a fabulous prize? <laughs> no. Okay. It, was just, it was just a brown coat. It was just like, <laughs> like UPS guy. Medieval UPS guy delivered it. But uh, you arrive in this alcove in the mountains. Uh, and there are a bunch of stands uh, with what appear to be patiently waiting people sitting in them. And then there's a little stage. And a man trundles up onto the stage. Ha-ha! We have our first contestants! It is I, Mr. Rich Man Gold Coin Top Hat! And I have constructed the legendary tomb of a Sererac, reconstructed. Praise be his name. I mean, he's a filthy lich. He is. And you, adventurers of the mercenaries of mischief, shall attempt to attack it. And if you survive, I shall give you your finest prize your eyes have ever seen. I've seen some pretty cool stuff. I say we just hit this guy so, with the stick until he tells us where the stuff is. What? He, don't. Uh, it's usually go. in the, the dungeon. Um, you know, it, uh, we, we, we got to go through the motions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jovetta, Jovetta is like this unnamed benefactor. Jovetta is convinced it's Owen Stone. I just want you to know. <laughs> if, if this is Owen Stone, this is the best acting he's ever done. <laughs> he could have hired somebody for this part. Okay. Hey. Uh, right this way, the opening is in this cliff face in front of these mountains, but you must first find out which of the entrances is the correct one. So uh, you can see there are three openings uh, carved out in this cliff face. Uh, there is a north, a south, and a central one. Which do you choose? Which one always tells the truth? <laughs> That's it. There, That's there always walls, the first step. Child. Door. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> Sometimes uh, doors can talk. I Sometimes want they to, eat you too. I want to use Eldritch Sight. Let's see if any of them look magical. 
Uh, none of them look natural. They're not gates. They're just like, they're, they're not like actual doors. They're just like carved out openings. Uh, so there doesn't appear to be anything magical coming from all any of the three of them. Okay, so I mean, they're all actually entrances. So that's one thing. Um, are, are they numbered? One, two, and three? By investigation. Any no, they are not. They are the north entrance, the south entrance, and the central entrance. Damn it, because you never take door number three. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, who's feeling lucky? Or, oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Go, uh, leader, what, go. Which entrance are you investigating? I guess I'll start with the first one. Okay, south, north, or central? South. South? Okay. Yep. So, for south... How far apart are the doors spread? Yeah. Uh, they're pretty far apart. They're about, well, let me take a look. I could tell you exactly that as soon as I rejoin the Rule 20 game as a dungeon master so that I can access <laughs> that necessary information to show you. <laughs> Not essential steps. It's uh, there. Fine. Now it's a one shot. <laughs> yeah, now it's, this is the, that's the game. All right, so if you look down the first, uh, if you look down the south entrance, you can see uh, this. So it is, it is a relatively short passageway with a door at the end. Uh, it has these embellishments. The ceiling is very high, and it's covered in spider webs. Um, is that a raccoon? What? No. <laughs> that does kind of that look like a raccoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is something very, very wrong with your with your raccoon, madam. <laughs> so, so look, it depends on how you feel about raccoons. Like, good, bad, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and walk up in front of each door and um, use Eyes of the Grave to see if there's any undead in there. Are are you going? Because the the door is is deeper in the cave. It's like in, yeah, it's like in. Um, uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to the door. I'm not gonna touch or open any doors. Okay. Um, but oh. I guess they're behind total cover, so I'm looking for ghosts in the hallway. Because so I didn't read the spell before I or the ability before I. Uh, <laughs> North, south, or central? Um, I'll start with the north and work my way down. Okay. I want to watch the guy. The the guy just that watches was... in anticipation. Yeah, I want to see if he if he's if he's cringing or anything as they head towards the door. Or as okay. she heads towards the door. So with this door, uh, with the south entrance, Rolda, as you peer inside the cave, uh, you see this rather plain uh, two doors at the end with skulls over top of them. I still see cobweb. Oh, here, let me... Yeah, you haven't showed us number two yet. Or number three, whichever one it is. The hit show. Why is it showing? Why you really? no show? Why you no show? I'm just refreshing. My game didn't want to co cooperate. Maybe I need to refresh mine too. All right. Refresh. Feel we refreshed. Break we, we break Twitch on a regular basis. Maybe we just broke World 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, be fine. Show to players. Okay. Maybe if I just put in your journals. That's the other option. That works yeah. too. Yeah, one's in there. Then we can click it. Yeah, one's in there. All right. The there. raccoon. Two. Uh, two. Okay. Oh, I don't like so that. So there's there's two doors at the end of there. There's two doors at the end of this one. And um, if yeah, I I will. Oh well, yeah. Do I sense any ghosts in the hallway? <laughs> or are those skulls undead? Are those skulls undead? Those skulls are not undead, and you do not detect any ghosts. I'm still gonna try to talk to the skulls. All right. And I'm going to walk up to them <laughs> and say, um, "Is this the right door?" Okay. <laughs> so, 
So. <laughs> Can we just spend all the you time hear, doing this? As you walk up to the door, you hear rumbling behind you. A one, two. Yeah, I run out. Three. <laughs> it collapses <laughs> down around you and rumbles into pieces. <laughs> Roll down. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Kid, are well done, you man. okay? I, I just. Uh... Am I okay? Buddy system. You're all right this time. Did I did I make it out or am I trapped in there? You made it out. I would oh, like, okay. I would like to investigate the central one and see what that looks like. The central one opens up into this long hallway. Uh, that you looks got it narrowed down to two. It looks like my show player's button needs to work better. Okay. <laughs> that looks like number three. So it's beautifully embellished. There's uh, dramatic paintings all over the place. Immediately to your right, there is a uh, painted depiction of two humanoids with uh, the heads of jackals. And they're holding up this... Uh, chest between the, their two hands. Uh, past that, you can see a depiction of what appears to be a door painted onto the wall with a big brace across it and two scaly clawed hands grasping at the bars as though trying to escape or shake them loose. The hallway proceeds much deeper inside. I'm going to stick my head in and just look at everything with Eldritch Sight to see if anything pings magicals, especially those paintings. You it's... sent a fent. You, uh, you sense a f You sent a fent. You, you sense sent a, a faint you magical a presence deeper into this hallway. There's something uh, magical down the hallway. I can't quite make it out, but um, uh, so there's that. Okay. Um, so this the num the raccoon door, as I'm now referring to it as only. Um, oh, you also notice on the floor there is this red trail of kind of mosaic tiles that leads deeper inside. Do you think we should follow those or not follow those? <laughs> it probably goes somewhere neat. I, mean, I guess it's a, just a, it's a oh. trail. Uh, can, I, can I punch it with mage hand? Can I? Can I? You can punch I, the tiles. Like like I'm stepping on one. Like uh, I, the 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 path. Yeah. Uh, I'm just go sure. through and tap it. Yeah. Where hang on, are you minute. doing hang that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't nobody go down there. You don't learn from your mistakes at all. I already rolled out, almost blew up. Somebody look first, at least. I will look, at least. I just have to be quick. It's fine. That's why I'm using Mage Hand. <laughs> She's just tapping the tiles with Mage Hand. She's not walking in there yet. Uh, if you're tapping the trail with Mage Hand, it appears solid. Uh, okay. Where about are you tapping it? Just the first, the beginning. Okay, that's where roll those standing. So yeah, you're tapping it. It's good. Uh, what if I tap off the trail? <laughs> off the trail? And I say, back up! <laughs> like, okay. Uh, ping where you're I tapping it for instruction. me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not arguing with that. Like, she is the boss. Here. Right in front of me. Not where I said back up. <laughs> uh, right in front of you, yeah, it looks good. I can't. Give me a short episode, yes. This, this, we're both this very small. We the same time. Sturdy, yeah. miraculously so. Uh, and you can see, actually, now that you're in there, the box on the wall being held by the two uh, jackal-headed humanoids is, is real. It's not painted on. Uh, 
Rolda says, uh, don't touch that one. And uh, just <laughs> kind of <Nope>. starts <laughs> starts to, to slowly walk down the hall, very, very slowly, very carefully investigating the path before she goes. She's been in dungeons. Okay, roll that stop right there. Yep, that's where she's stopping. Hate that. <laughs> uh, the floor gives way. And Rolda, I need you to first try to make a dexterity save for me. Gives way how? Like, <laughs> straight Falls down? Falls to pieces, straight down. Yeah, does it crumble or does it just fall straight out? <laughs> Better fall! Can I try Falls to straight out. Rolda? I was going to try and grab Rolda. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's, let's see how she does on her... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Nope. As soon as she feels the floor give out, she whips off her cloak. Thank okay. you, because I can't reach it. I was to, yeah. to gain the uh, the advantage of her glider wings. Okay. And yeah, she, Key 3's trying to, like, grab. I can't reach her, so... All right. So, in that case, uh, since you glide down... Uh, unless Key 3 can make an incredible athletic save to grab you. Uh, maybe not. Nope. Nope. <laughs> As she goes oh, by you, just lightly yeah. punch her in the cheek. <laughs> you glide down, and you only poke yourself on two of the spikes at the bottom. Ow! Or five damage. Make a constitution save. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> wow! You're okay! <laughs> damn. Wow! She got lucky. There was damn. Thank you, Calimbar. Yeah. She did get lucky. <laughs> okay, so now I can look, eh? Okay? What are we looking at? Uh, I am going to get down and crawl on my hands and knees looking uh, at this floor ahead of me. How far down am I? Unless there's, I mean, if there's a hole, I, I will go around it. You are? How deep are these pits? Let me see. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna, I'm mage handing every tile. <laughs> you're, you're just like. <laughs> 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 Do we have to make it through first, or do we just have to make it through? Uh, you just gotta make it through. All right, the pits are... No no rush, mage hand every time. Yeah, just mage hand every time. All right. Uh, the pits are only, uh, ten feet deep. Okay, great. It's a short Uh, trip down. Yeah, I will, uh, just... Yep. That that happens sometimes. It's very sharp down here. And I'll, I'll take off my pack and pull out my rope and just kind of uh, yeah. toss it out of the hole. Someone tie right. me off. Or yeah, just grab I... it. Yep. Oh. Pull her out. Jabetta's hey. doing the thing. I'm going to use my my cloak of levitation and just <laughs> float. Great. <laughs> great. Keith, we ain't falling in, really fallen in <laughs> no pits. I should have borrowed Lil's boots. So like when you're looking through your inventory stop. and you're like, oh yeah, I've had this for like half a season. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Keithra, you you move unabated through this place. And Joanna's like, bunny system! Using her own words against her. <laughs> so when you reach the end of the hallway, Keithra, you see uh, depicted on the far wall here where I am pinging, you see this here face as soon as I find it in the list. Oh, God. I don't like so faces in walls. Many. Oh yeah, absolutely. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that is depicted on this far wall here. Nah. Right. Not from it. <laughs> okay. To your right, you see an archway shrouded in mist that you cannot see through. The archway has three lit up stones. Down in there again. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and like that that face, does it look like there's a hole where the mouth is? Uh, it looks like there is, but you're, you, once you touch it, it just feels like stone. Uh, you do also notice that the archway, the entrance path, the base stones, 
glow yellow on the left and orange on the right, and the keystone at the top glows blue. How's my mage hand progress coming? <laughs> Punching it, down this you're, you're, you're tapping, you're tapping all the floor tiles, and uh, nothing's giving way under your mage hand. And I don't trust that mage hand at all, and I am on all <laughs> fours, literally crawling into the dungeon. Okay, uh, what direction are you crawling? Uh, uh, I will follow the mage hand. Okay. Yeah, mage hand is on the path, so. Okay, mage hand is on the path. Yep. Yeah. So okay. I'll follow that, and like I said, I'm getting down low and looking for cracks and everything I can. All right, are you going to go around the hole that Rolda fell into on the path? Uh, yeah, because I'm going to have to, given the width of this hallway, right? I can't how, go over it. How wide yeah, I guess is like, it? It's, it's only... actually, use your imagination just a little bit, because it's actually, uh, each square is 10 feet in this regard. Yeah. Um, okay. So. So the hole is 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not leaping that. Not well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, I will go around. Okay. Well, I will search my way around. Yeah. Sh show me where you're going. Move away, Guy. Move away. <laughs> I'll make an it. investigation check whenever you like to. <laughs> oh, um, I'm roll a nice investigation check. So, pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Over there. Oh, Meanwhile, the watch the toes. On. Meanwhile, I'm tying my my mace to yep. uh, <laughs> my rope okay. and just kind of tossing it down the hallway and pulling it back. I'm not sure how much pressure the mage hand exerts, but... I like how Key 3's just like over at this door now. Right <laughs> now. She's, she's got her puzzle face on, man. But performing a similar function. All so right. Like, first trying directly on the other side of the hole there. Uh, my, I can't hear any of you guys. Oh. It's, I think it's my internet is being oh, shitty. No. Oh. That's okay. Nobody's doing anything important yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on the floor crawling. All right. Uh, so you're throwing your mace across. It's clattering across the floor, and it's uh, not not doing anything. It's kind of lobbing it up there. Nope. Okay. I'm following Gee, I guess. I don't know. Also, Guy, uh, could you do a Shit. investigation check on this trail? Oh yes, please. Since I've you been, were playing, I've, since I've you're been, on your knees, playing such close attention to it. I've had it ready to go for like four minutes now. So here we go. Let's see how bad it gets. Eh, it's not good. It looks like it might be writing in the mosaic tiles. The, on the path. Yeah. Ah, crap. All right. Does it look like any known language? Um, it's, I speak it's, some weird languages. Uh, Guy's unable to discern it, but I'm sure if he talked to the rest of his party members, they might be able to help him out. The, the trail has got words in it, eh? It's all oh. carved in. What? Can I'm going to take a real close look. Try to read it? Absolutely. Oh, shit. All right. So, you can read portions of it. Uh, okay. It continues all the way down. So know it's written in arcane runes. Okay. And I will tell you the first uh, two lines. Go back to the Tormentor or through the arch and the second great hall you'll discover. Has really bad experience with reading words out loud that she finds in <laughs> creepy places. <laughs> the last time a vampire popped out of a box and almost killed us all. <laughs> uh, so she will. Um, but it continues along it. the pale as along the trail as you go deeper in. All right, she'll she's gonna paraphrase it. <laughs> oh wait, that's where the hole is. Okay, so yeah. okay. You, you can go over it. All right. So that uh, thing in the hall outside that we very carefully went around, you think maybe that's uh, that's maybe the tormentor, that thing back in the hall? Or by, right by us in the hall, I guess? Maybe. I think the thing up where Key 3 is that... Can we see that yet at this point? Uh, you can see Key 3 at the end of the hallway. You guys are getting close enough. 
Hey, Keith, what's the tormentor of the arch? Is there anything up there? Oh, we, she can't hear us. She can't hear us here. Uh, <laughs> she can't hear us all the way up there. I'm, I'm, try I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. I don't... Do, do I recognize that? The... Uh, the... The image on the wall, or the... Can you hear us now? I, I, I missed a huge chunk. Oh, okay. And yeah. there, there, I'm getting some weird static, so it's it's cutting in and out, unfortunately. Oh. I think that may... Uh, producer, maybe end the yes. sound share with us. Keep it going to stream. Just just end in Zoom the, uh, the sharing. Understood. That might help with the static. Uh, I mean, I'll Unless I'll describe the yeah, thing I saw and the. Uh, um, oh, hey. Um, there you go. That was that was what was overriding my brain. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll describe the. Uh, I the do have a little rumble of an audio track there. Um, ah, sound that could be. Uh, my apologies. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little glitchy coming through the end. Ah, sorry. Anyways, so um. That's okay. Can you, uh, like, hit the ground when you float over it? Or drop your pack or something? Drop my pack? So we can find a safe place to walk? Because I can't float all the way there unless someone throws me real hard. Oh, well, sure. Um, I'll just, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, 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 uh, float back to Did, them. Get didn't you, oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, just like take the hilt of my sword and like okay. pound roll an attack roll for me Don't fail. all right takes a bit of force but you collapse the pit in front of roldo Oof. okay i'll go in front of jilbetta <laughs> jilbetta's on the ground reading <laughs> just trying to trying to decipher yeah but didn't you say we were supposed to either go back to the Tormentor or back through the arch? Why are you still going forward? He said back to the back to the tor Tormentor or through the arch and the second great hall you'll discover. But I think the Tormentor is the thing up there that Keithry saw. Actually, Jovetta says, oh, she's like, oh, wait, I can I make this idea. so much easier. It's, Comprehend languages. <laughs> Because I'm a bard now! Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if we can get down there, I have an idea, but I don't want to die on the way. Okay, you can read it, uh, but you need to... Uh, you need to get to the end of the trail to read all of it. That's, it says, yes, it have right. to be touching the... So I'm, I'm, like, going through it. So can we just fast-track this and say that Kithri tested all of the floor tiles <laughs> <laughs> and we know which ones are <laughs> you're gonna have to find some bravery team <laughs> all right fine okay i'm gonna just follow in her footsteps all right yep oh shit not where i wanted to go not where i wanted to go isn't the first one i fell through on the path yes it is yeah yeah so the path isn't necessarily safe. No, but I'm, I have to be on it to read. So. Yeah. So yeah. When she falls in, don't go, don't follow her anymore. Yeah. Go the other way. I'm just gonna follow her. <laughs> All right. I'll just wait till she's done moving. Oh shit! I just envision us all doing like the, the make drunk a cast walk down the line. I, I knew it. I saw him make a face. I knew it. That's an eleven. Oh, that's that's an eleven. Good. That's not enough. You hit uh, three spikes. Oh, good. Constitution save, I imagine. Constitution save, but you also take twelve piercing damage. But you're okay on the save. No poison for you. Well, that's fun. I still cannot get over that. I will toss those stats. My God. <laughs> I will toss down my rope. Okay. <laughs> and hand the other end to Gee. You you hoist out Jilbetta. Wait. Oh. All right. Can we 
keep going. All right. Nothing. You see, she really is Nothing. the leader. All right, roll the dexterity save again. <laughs> you hit no spikes this time. You managed to land oh. just like in between everything. <laughs> I, I learned for the first time. I wasted my constitution save too. Uh, I'm, I'm going to save us a lot of time here. I'm going to tie, after we get Jobetta out again, I'm going to tie the rope <laughs> around my waist and give the other uh, end to Guy to uh, hopefully tie around himself. Because if I fall into a 10 foot hole, he can just stand there and I won't fall in. Excellent. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah. you've now made it to the scaring. end of this. And right, you can I am see going, this archway. Yeah, I'm going to walk over to this this statue thing. Sure. And I'm going to be like, OK, Guy, are you tied up? I'm going to try something. Okay. Uh, that's not usually where I hear that phrase, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, God. OK. And I am <laughs> Frankly, going to. Frankly, it's usually uh, me that asks. I'm going to uh, turn, <laughs> turn my back. Uh, to the statue, to the, the face, and lean backwards into it. Okay. Thump. Nope. Worth a shot. However, uh, now that you have read the entire trail, Jobetta, it um, says, Okay. Go back to the tormentor or through the arch, the second great hall you'll discover. Shun green if you can. But light's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice. Aught but loop of magical metal, you're well along your march. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So check the wall. These keys and those are most important of all. And beware of trembling hands and what will maul. If you find the false, you find the true. And into the columned hall you'll come. And there, the throne that's key and keyed. The iron men of visage grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your soul will die. Oh, it's a map. Uh, so Jobetta wrote, <laughs> yep. I'm just going to say <laughs> that Jobetta wrote all that down. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm going to say that Jobetta wrote it down. I got pretty and, close. <laughs> All right, I will supply it as a handout for okay, you. Okay, because Aww. I, because I am a kind and benevolent are, dungeon master. I will never, I will never publicly doubt that again. <laughs> uh, but you do see that three stones on this arch next to Keithy are lit up. All right. Okay. None of them are red, right? Uh, none of them are red. Their colors are, once again. Yellow, it was yellow orange, blue, orange. Blue. Yeah. Well, I just went in the opposite direction. Yeah. There you go. So I'm going to put it in the handout for you. Okay. The stones are definitely magical. And then there's this veil of mist that you can't see through. Um, I'm going to throw a coin through the veil of mist. All right. Uh, you hear no clatter on the other side. Hmm. All right. There's your handout. Okay. You missed your edition. Shun green if you can. Knight's good color. Is that the blue? But knight's good color is for those of great valor. So black. So black. <laughs> oh, <damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> if shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice. 
except a for a, a ring. Except for a ring of magical metal. A ring. And you'll be well enough along your march. Two okay. pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So that's someplace check. that's going to look bad, but we're supposed to go down it. So check the wall. That's, oh, that's where the trigger of the trap will be. So it's the like third, you've been here before. No. The, the third one. If two, two pits lead there, yeah, and then we, the third one is the fortuitous fall. That sounds exactly good to me, eh? Yes. So check the wall. Sure. You I think that's easy. probably where the trigger right. for the the third trap is, eh? Yeah. Well, we there well, were three pits in this hallway. But it, it just says to go through the archway, so why don't we I just think, go through the exactly, archway? I was just I going to say, why don't we is, do this one step at a time? Eh? Okay. Uh, I think this hallway is just to sort of, like, teach you how it works. The archway. <laughs> Yeah. For, for a girl that preaches buddy system. <laughs> <laughs> this is the I tutorial <laughs> room of the dungeon. I, she, I step through <laughs> after her and look at her before the other two come in. You look at her and just shake my head and go, clerics, eh? Okay, so you guys step tied to him the archway. <laughs> when he steps through. If that matters, do I get sucked through? Uh, the, it's severed as soon as he goes through the archway. Oh. Okay. Oh, your poor rope. Boop. And you appear in a very small dungeon. Uh, by dungeon, you mean a five by five square? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually 10 by 10, but boop. Uh, now you're all in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there I'm glad that some of you are small because this is. <laughs> this so is it's, rough. it's a 10 by 10 square, and you have arrived in there. There are. Is my coin here? <laughs> no, your coin is Damn. not here. Which is even stranger. Well, maybe Strange. this was a mistake. <laughs> is there a door? Like, is the arch still there? Uh, no, there is no door. You've just okay. flopped out into this place. And there are multiple levers here. There are, there's a wall with four levers on it. Second great so hall you discover. I think we pull the second one. This is the second great Which hall. The second are the co one? are the things colored at all? No, they're not. The ah. stones were colored on the archway. Yeah, and you said yellow, orange, and red, right? Uh, yellow, yellow, orange, blue. and blue. Yeah, yeah yellow, yellellow, orange, orange and, blue. and blue. Okay. Uh, are we supposed to do, I'm touch them? I'm going to use Eldritch Sight. Okay. Uh, there is no magical purpose to any of the things that are currently in this tiny, tiny room. Uh, how... mechanical. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but can I do another investigation check? Shit, You I sure don't know. can. Look, investigate, <laughs> investigate in each new I room. I don't know. You've... So Ben is like shoved one. up against a corner like, I can't see anything. I don't know. All right. So Rilla is very close to it. She's D, uh, since there are so many people here who can pr produce a little bit of light for you, uh, you can see two things. Uh, number one, the levers go in four directions that are on the walls. Okay. And also that there appears to be... That was my role, be... by the way. Oh. I was about to say. Rolda. Sorry, Rolda, you can see this. I was sitting here reading the note, and suddenly you started talking to me, so I just said yes. Oh, no, never mind. I'm, I'm Sorry, Rolda, you can proper. see. I just said yes. <laughs> that yes, this, there's a passageway up top. It's very small. There's a small <laughs> opening near the ceiling. How tall, how high up is it? Uh, it is about 10 feet up. There's a hole up there. Ah. Uh. Can't you fly? Only so far. Oh. Uh, well, don't go like in. Just have a look. Look what happened the last time we just went in. <laughs> no, let's lift me up. Lift me up. If wait, hold on. If we I can see well in dark. If I we can see well in dark too. If we cold. hold you up, can you levitate the rest of the way? Can I? Well, it's only <laughs> ten feet up, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Like. I mean, all right. <laughs> If, if we hold her, then Just she's a, a base she's halfway there, against. and then she can Absolutely. levitate off of us. I right? Do that. 
Just take right. a peek. All right. So uh, once you get the uh, opening, once you get past the opening, it's kind of like a water slide. Thank you for the raid. Well, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Uh... It's kind of like a water slide. And Key 3, you tumble out into the side of a pit of spikes. She tumbles? Why does she tumble? She was just going to look in. <laughs> she was just oh, levitating. Sorry. Just well, I mean, if you look in, it doesn't take, you slip and foo. <laughs> it hurts. That You're happens. being railroaded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. We lost her. <laughs> you don't get hurt uh, because you She's actually to be so angry. tumble out into the hole that uh, Jobetta already fell into. Guys? Can anyone hear me? No, uh, no, they're too far away. She just she, she went and checked out the hole, and it was like slurp. Jovetta's like Jovetta goes, Kid three, no, and she she climbs up and she climbs after. Okay, yeah, don't uh, go without pulling me up there. She'll kill me if I leave her alone with the buddy system and all. So this time for the saving experience, you will okay, say uh, everybody this. makes it through the water the water slide and uh, pulls yeah. themselves back up into this room. Well, shit. <laughs> you are once again faced with this misty archway. Hmm. Well, that is, wasn't it. Uh, okay, so what do you think about this uh, this uh, tormentor then? Eh? We try that? Um, you said there were le levers, right? Yeah. Well, there were levers in the room that you guys were in. What happens if we go through and pull one of those and then come back through the thing. <laughs> Is through the arch the same as under the arch? Maybe we did it wrong. Can I, if What happens if I poke the blue stone? Uh, if you poke the blue stone, it goes out. Poke it again. So what if I, yeah, but what if change. I poke it again? Uh, it goes back on again. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Turn the other ones off and just blue. Because <laughs> it says, wait, hold on. Shun green if you can. Night's good color is for those of great valor. Shades of red stand Pick black. for blood. <laughs> then all we need is a magic yeah. So green. you need you need to turn green to black, and she touches it. Which one do you touch? There is no green. Oh, There's wait. No green. No, it was blue, yellow, and orange, right? Mm. Yep. Then I will touch um, blue and yellow. Okay. Blue and yellow go out. Orange is still lit. I will walk through. Oh, shit. Ah. All right. Uh, you tumble out into that room all by yourself again. Hmm. <laughs> These walls aren't clamble, are they? <laughs> Jobetta will go. Jobetta will go. Because it hits her like she probably can't. She's like stuck. <laughs> She's probably stuck. We need to. Uh, I think it's the same place. Jobetta will go through and she's going to okay. take a portion of her rope and like permanently affix it here so that if even if one person goes so through, they like can leave out. one so you can climb back out. <laughs> effectively create this loop. Yeah. yeah All go. right, I'm down for it. Uh, All right. So, so how about this time we pull a lever before we go? We know where it goes this way. Well, what if we try just blue? Uh, seems the closest to night. Okay. Then yeah. So yeah. Okay, turn I'll, out the I'll do orange. just blue, and then I'll try it. I'll go through. Okay. Uh, you go back to the back to the main chamber, the uh, the tiny room. The tiny room, yeah. All right. How many levers are there? There are four levers. And they're all, like... One goes this way, one goes They're all in a neutral position. They all go in all four directions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit. That's way more options. Uh, uh, there's got to be a pattern. Hmm. I'm so, I'm metagaming like a bastard, but this is too much horror, so I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those have no color. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> can we can we like get all of the lights off? 
You sure can. Hey, there's no light. That's in, like night. And that would make it in what, dark in night. In what night. order do oh. you do that in? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, currently only the blue one is on, right? Or do the, they relight? The dungeon master said knowingly. But after they went through, it all went back up again. Okay. Hello. All the decorations we found in here. There was the chests towards the beginning. Just one chest. Hallway. Just one chest. And those guys looked like they had bird heads. Yeah, from from left All right. to right. All right, if you go yellow, blue, orange, uh, and then go through, yep, you go somewhere else. Oh shit! <laughs> when we don't hear her fall out uh, into the pit, I'm falling. I'm jumping. <laughs> like you wait a while yeah. to see yeah. if she shows up in the pit or not. <laughs> yep. We'll be like, okay. So you guys show up in this other room. Uh, it's 20 by 20, and in front of you is a gargoyle, or what appears to be a gargoyle. It's actually a statue. Uh, it has six arms, but two of the arms are currently broken off. And it looks like this. Oh, let me show it to you. You said it has six arms? Yes, but two are currently broken off. Damn it. Let me show the thing. Oh. Am I looking at the right part? No, I'm not. That's why I won't let me show it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Looks okay. like this. <laughs> Who I'd Scott? Two-eyed Scott. <laughs> it has, so, has, so it has four sorry. arms and two legs, or it has six sorry, arms? Sorry, it's a three-arm statue with one arm missing. My mistake. Okay. I mixed it up with other statues that I might have seen at some point. <laughs> and something un totally unrelated. This smallish room uh, immediately appears to be a broken statue. It's about eight feet tall. It is a four-armed gargoyle with one of the arms is broken off and on the floor nearby. Okay. <laughs> mm. There's a large. There are large, open, outstretched hands in the gargoyle it, it, on the statue, though. That they look like they're holding out, waiting for something. Beware of trembling hands. Um. Find the false and find the true. You, you guys want to? <laughs> Take a look at this thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look around it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we get one investigation per room, right? Taking a oh, absolutely. Look, e each one of you <laughs> can check it out. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There. there it is. Something's oh. finally starting to make sense. <laughs> so you guys take a look over this statue, and you note that, uh, that a large gem about uh, worth about 100 gold pieces, uh, blue quartz. Well, uh, you find it, and it, can, it will fit perfectly in uh, one of the hands. Oh. So we find the gym? And you find, actually, that the, uh, the broken off hand has no such cavity to contain a gem, just the three attached hands. So you do find three gems, and you find depressions in three hands. What color are the gems? The gems are blue quartz. Oh, all of them are They're blue. They're all the same. same. Okay. Yeah. Phew. Okay. All right. Hmm. So do we do the obvious thing? And Well, which part? Grab you put that. the tree in their hands, or you put the arm back on first? Wait, I if you the find arm, the false, the you find on. the true. Is one of, are one of these not real, maybe? I don't know. Uh, uh, Overthinking this like a mofo. I want to look at it with elder sight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, dark magic exudes from this statue. Um, I want to check the wall. I, I, this, this thing is 
not good. There doesn't appear to be anything on the walls here. Okay. I am also going to uh, use my armor of shadows. <laughs> Hmm. Can I hmm. can I can I put the arm back on the statue? Uh no, you, you can't find any way to attach it. It won't mend. It just oh, won't stick okay. on there. Well, that make it easy. Put the gems in, let's go. I mean, of course it's a trap, but what else are we going to do? Sure. We're I don't have to be where. I I will I will take one of the gems and I will put it uh, up to the hand that is broken off. Even though there's not a hole there, I'll just set it on the hand. All right. Uh, doesn't just kind of. I set a rock on a nice piece try. Of- <laughs> nice try. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like the way you're thinking. No, it's fine. <laughs> Head check. Hmm. Okay. Well, who's got these gems? Because yeah, there's no uh, way Guy picked them up. <laughs> I might have found one, but there's no way I picked it up. <laughs> so. I picked one up. I uh, would have picked one up. I would have also picked one up. I'll just All right. put one on the hand. Put one on a hand. All right. You put one on a hand, and the digits of a hand close and crush the gem into dust until the dust falls to the floor. Hmm. While Rolda is thinking, she will cast freedom of movement on herself. <laughs> All right. As a precaution. And it is good for one hour. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set another gem in a hand. Yeah. Another one is crushed to dust and released. Yep, might as well. I'll do the third one. <laughs> Another one is crushed and released, and the statue speaks. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Look to the fourth to find your gain. Or the hand, look, I assume. Look in the hand of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, the broken hand. All right. Uh, you find a gem of seeing comes into being on the fourth hand. Ooh. Well, that rhymes. I will yes. pick it up. All right. And as you pick it up, the statue rolls away and reveals a stony passage leading downward. Hmm. Let's go do that. I will I will Here's reaffix wait, my wait, wait, my gi wait. rope. <laughs> Tie those back together. <laughs> oh, but it's getting bored. So are you even I going first. to look? I did a thing, and so I can't um, get caught on tricky things to walk on and stuff. So I can go first. Useful. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay. All right. So uh, going out into the next area. Yes. So once you go through that tunnel, you exit here. Okie dokie. Long Gee, passageway. Are you, are you inviting everyone else down? Um, yeah, I think it's okay. It's just a hallway. Tug, tug. I mean, it's probably trapped hallway, but, you know, nothing killed yeah, me speaking yet. Speaking of which, I am checking every step on the way down. I'll follow. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to float. Jovetta's redaining. <laughs> Jovetta's like this close to redaining. Like, okay. Yeah. In that case, so, I'll just follow Jovetta and walk so in her footsteps. She's so fucking bored. Like she's like, all right, this is, this is bullshit. I'm over and, it now. And once I'm within, um, once Guy's down there and I'm within eye shot, I will uh, walk in front of this door and take a look. See. Okay. Uh, it the door has my a depiction, much like everywhere else on this place of various humanoid slash animal combination figures holding glowing orbs. And the depiction on this door is, what color is he? Also, I do have Cumbrian languages still active. So if there are any languages anywhere. It is 
an orange orb held waist high. Oh, sorry. No, that one is a gold gold held high above the head. The one uh, next to it is a orange orb held waist high. And then after that, there is a purple one held at the feet. And then after that, there is a bronze one held high. And then a gray one held at the shoulder after that. A bright blue one at the feet and a white one held above the head. A turquoise held at the shoulder and a scarlet held waist high and a pale green at the feet. <laughs> All along that wall, along the other side of the God. wall, a pale blue orb uh, held at the shoulder, silver at the feet, green held high above the head, yellow at the shoulder, pink held high above the head, black at the feet, pale violet at the shoulder, red held at the waist high, and a buff at the feet. I don't know what color buff is. Okay. It's beige. <laughs> and <laughs> indigo held high above the head. So there's no repetition of color. Everyone's unique. Everyone's unique. What? Other than that, it looks like a door. I mean, there's a couple of obvious choices. Eh? Was there a black one? Yeah, a black or a red? The violet or the, the indigo, the darkest one. Eh? No, yes, violet, like night. Exactly. Eh? And if not, that, but you know, the thing with, uh, with that is uh, the violet one, it said very clearly that's for people of great valor. Yes, like us. And roll the wheel. Open the door. You're, you're opening the violet door, to be clear. Um, she will go very slowly and kind of look at everybody like, is anyone going to stop me? <laughs> <laughs> nope. There, okay. there, was, uh, there was some... Oh, shit. Never mind. Uh, the pale violet door uh, has... Uh, the pale violet depiction no, not the has no door no, on it. The, We're the looking indigo for the, one. The dark... The, the dark... Oh, the indigo. The, like the darkest purple, whatever yeah. you have for that. All right, uh, the indigo. It's a whole lot of colors. I don't have a visual. For it. Oh yeah, no, like the indigo image uh, doesn't appear to have anything attached to it either. You touch the walls. I check the walls. All right, you check the walls. Uh, how far deep are you going in? Um, to the. Well, I would start with the yeah. The well, indigo, indigo is like way down there. here. So well, I mean, checking... we already said that we like we're looking at all of them, so I assumed I walked down there. Yeah. All right. Well, if you're you're all the way down that way, you actually see feet of me. you see another archway at the end of the hallway. Ooh, I see. Is it smoky too? It looks like yeah, just like the previous one. Um, yep. Same colors and stuff. Uh, it's smoky and misty. This one has uh, different color keystones on it. Uh, whenever when you get close to it, lower left olive keystone, and then russet on the lower right. Russet. Yeah, it's red. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Is it like <laughs> rust? Dark red, like blood red. So, like sorry. Yeah. Lower left is olive, the top one is russet, and then the lower right is citron. Yeah, what olive is green. Is it green? No, look, these old school fucking colors that they oh, put yeah. in here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, you've got the you've got the citron stones, I see. <laughs> Before so, we go leaping through too many more doors, uh, any of you know what that gem of seeing actually do? I think it lets us see things. Would any of us actually know what it does? Because I find I didn't, I hadn't, like that I, pass I didn't when know I, until I looked. I did an arcana check on it. Well, when I picked uh, it up, then we could see the passage. It, it, it'll the, help you see through uh, illusions and uh, falsehoods. It gives you things. true sight out to 120 yeah. feet for 10 minutes, three times yeah. a day. Mm -hmm. um, there was a thing that said, <laughs> if you find the false, you find the true. Maybe we so, do that in here. Okay, I mean, I'll, it, I'm holding the stone. Three I'm, shots, eh? We got. Uh, we I'll got think about we this can stone. Use it. I'll think about it real hard and f do whatever it does. The stone. 
because I still have it, so might as well. All right. Uh, using the stone, you can uh, see through the arch. Uh, it just uh, is a, like a rock face on the other side. Hmm. Okay. Um, but looking at like the figures on the walls, does anything change using the stone? Uh, no, no figures on the wall change. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it works because I can see through the mist. It's just a wall over there. But uh, these paintings pretty much just look like what they are. And the orbs, too? As far as I can tell. Yeah, the orbs just glow with a faint magical light. All right. And Joetta just steps through the portal with all the things lit. Uh... You guys, right. getting to live. I, I, should, over. I should also notice note before you go through there. Uh, you do see an opening behind the silver orb held at the feet using the uh, true sight. Mm. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and that's like up about here. I'll go back over. But it's like this is the portal. Like what? <laughs> I think there's a hole over here. Hidden behind the silver ball. Okay. Can I see the gym? I'll try to poke my mace through. Yeah, I'll hand it to you. And then I'll try to poke my mace through the uh, silver. Uh, You poke through it and there is uh, an opening. You could crawl through it. Should I go in that? Gee, do you have the rope? Still tied oh, to you? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, you look over and he's actually untied it and it's laying on the floor and he quickly picks it up. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah no, we're good. <laughs> as as gets a you know, Thanks, I knew I could count on you, Gee. Yeah, if you want us to pull you back out, just like give two quick tugs. Okay, unless it breaks when I go in like last time. And then I, I crawl on in. All right, you crawl in. And you continue and it winds and goes very deep. Uh, and when I get the end of my 50 foot rope, yeah. Yeah, you get to the end of it and uh, you either got to pull Guy in or stop. <laughs> now, when it when I get to the end, I will, uh, yeah, back out. There okay. is no way in hell a two and a half foot cobalt is putting <laughs> Guy down that hole. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, look, I am fishing for cobalt. I wonder what I catch as I'm it's, reeling her back out. It's very long way in there and I don't know where it goes. I guess there's only one way to find out. Okie dokie. And Jabetta goes. All right, you go down the hole? Yep. All right. It's long and winding. But eventually, you come out here into what appears to be some kind of church. Um, <laughs> kind of church? Is it a columned hall? Would it be considered a columned hall? You I don't see, see any columns. Okay. Uh, Jovetta thaumaturgies up the the hole. (laughs) Jovetta thaumaturgies back up the, the, like, hole and says, there's a church! (laughs) Church, 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 church. All right. I guess that's something. That's That's better than death. Is this another path also, or... Uh, yes, there's another mosaic path on, path on the floor. Uh, Seeing as though we're not sneaking up on more... anybody, I thaumaturgy back down. Hey, cleric, you think to check what kind of church? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're trying to, we're going either way. I mean, <laughs> there's another door right at the end of the hallway. The archway. Um, this, yeah, we did that already. Yeah, but the thing says there's, a th- <laughs> there's the throne that's key and keyed. And this All has I'm a going to say before I follow you thing. is that when the warlock of chaos and discord is saying, whoa, maybe we stop and think for a minute. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so, okay, when you get done being a coward, just I, got, I need more slack in my rope. So, I don't on. think you've got that kind of time, miss. <laughs> So in this room, there are scenes of normal life depicted in uh, paintings all along the walls. However, these depictions are odd because all of the people in the depictions have rotten flesh 
uh, skeletal hands. Some of them have worms clearly eating away at them. Pin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is this Pin's family? Uh, there's also depictions of, of various religious symbols of good alignment. Ooh. And a faint aura of good Ooh. can be magically detected. Ooh. Okay. All right. Hey, Calamore, is that you? <laughs> um, do we gonna, do I was gonna start with some finding traps? Just, you know, double check. Hey, a- uh, you're finding traps and how, how, what's the radius on that find trap? 120 again? feet. Okay. Uh, you do know that there are traps in the end pews. Okay. Uh, so better we'll share that with everyone but Geet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> share that with everyone. The pews uh, have the folding seats on them, each row. Okay. Um, she said there's there's traps in the uh, end pews up there. Um, it says I learned the general nature of the danger posed by a trap. Absolutely. Uh, the name, the the danger is um, to breathing. It's danger to breathing. <laughs> uh, there's uh, an yeah. op- opalescent kind of blue altar. Okay. It glows faintly in the inner light, sitting in there, and there's also an archway glowing orange uh, to the left side. And there's a skeleton on the ground with an outstretched hand pointing towards it. For the orange altar? For the orange archway, yes. Oh, I, this all looks like a pretty obvious sign for me. <laughs> <laughs> this, the red line, uh, that, is that more of that text? That floor text? Uh, there's no text in it this time, but uh, it, it's more of this trail that kind of leads up to the altar. Into the column tall you'll come, there's the throne that's key and keyed. Guys, I really think that this is a note from Colin Moore that I'm supposed to go through that door. Why, why, why do you think that? Well, because it's orange. orange, like me, and it's a skeleton hand pointing at stuff, and sometimes that's how Colin Moore gives me directions. That, that's a way it happens. <laughs> okay. Look around with Eldritch Sight. All right. Uh, there, there is a holy light permeating the room. Uh, there is some magic energy radiating uh, from this altar, and there's a bunch of magic energy radiating from that glowing orange archway. Cool. Well, the archway and the altar are magical, but the archway kind of seemed obvious, so. Yeah. So we probably have to do something with the altar. I'm going to look closely at the um, the drawings on the walls. Do they look like drawings? Do they look like raised or made of a different material? Uh, they, they're just paintings. Um, just paintings. None of them appear to be raised or, or made of different material or anything like that. It looks none of them like move this. when I get close or anything? No, no none, of, none of them move. None of them reach out and grab you. <laughs> uh, Ms. Gerbetta, which two of the chairs, they are a trap? The ones at the... Is it these front two? Front row, yeah. This, okay. yeah. Uh, then, oh, well, all right then, I cast Mage Hand and start flipping up the seats on the other six. Okay, uh, as you flip up the seats, you find 4,000 silver pieces. You Jesus. find 3,000 electropadium pieces. Electrum? That's like the most like the most rare universal material ever. Last time I saw it was 1987. <laughs> what is 1987? When this module came out. <laughs> <laughs> like last time Electrum oh, okay. was ever used in DMT, <laughs> except on the page where they tell you how much everything's worth. 2,000, <laughs> uh, and you also find 2,000 gold pieces. You see, Great. I do one thing, eh? One thing. <laughs> you should do more things. The bag of holding, it's going, like, because we got the, uh, oh, I've, hey, I, I've got our treasure with us. We got our bag of holding right back to the keep. Yep. You don't even have to carry this slop. Hey. Yep. Ain't got to carry no slop. Hey, keep yeah. me, you hold open the bag, eh? And then just start shoveling it in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the like that. <laughs> <laughs> a fist bump. Ro- 
<laughs> this is this is rolled as comfort zone. Any random ass god's altar, I'm walking up to it. Let's hey, do that. Uh, Keithry's mage site is detecting a faint evil energy inside that altar. Uh, that, that, that might not be a good god. That I mean, you know, these are just names. Might this be another good time to do that uh, true sight thing with the... See, I mean... Because we are looking for the faults that... They it probably hasn't this. been 10 minutes, right? Has it been 10 minutes? Well, actually, last uh, time... You can, yeah, been. you used to go hold it up like a monocle and look around. Yeah. Doing it, because I think I still have it. All right. Uh, you don't see any magical illusions here. Okay. All right, well, I'm at the altar, so... Okay. Um, Is it... Yeah. Is there like a, does it something look like an, a latch or an opening? Yeah. No, nothing like that on the altar. Any writings, runes? No, it's just a, a opalescent blue altar. Man, are, are these two things on the back wall anything? Uh, just uh, candle stands and there are two urns as well. Urns, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, that's better. Anything happen if I use Mage Hand to touch oh. the altar? Much better. Uh, nothing happens if you use Mage Hand to touch the altar. Mm, uh, maybe on a Mage Hand just... roll. I just I flick over the urns. <laughs> All right. Um, I was going to suggest over... putting them on the altar, but hey. <laughs> uh, you flick over the urns. While you flick over this urn, I want you to make a perception check for me. All right. I will put my perceptacles on. And they're still not going to help. Yeah, no, you didn't see it. You flick over the urns, nothing happens. Okay. Shit. Damn it, Geek. You can't win every <laughs> time. crazy idea, but maybe the skeleton goes in the chair? I think that's just the, a guy who died here. Sometimes in these dungeons, somebody will, like, die and their party will have to leave them behind so they try to leave an, uh, a signal for the next person as they're dying sometimes like okay. writing arrows in blood this guy looks like he's pointing is there anything else about this room that looks familiar to you Rolda <laughs> um, I don't know let me find out anything look familiar in here um not not to you specifically. I was uh, trying to figure out if this was actually one of the dungeons. No, the I remember great details of every dungeon, and I have not been here before. <laughs> oh, uh, the skeleton is also wrapped in black chain mail. Oh. Badly oh. rusted and torn. Like, long time, long time dead? Yeah. He's just pointing right, at this I'm glowing altar. orange altar. I right. pray. I pray to Salune and I door, right? put my. I fucking touch this altar. All right. So, uh, first thing that happens is you take yep. forty hit points of damage. What? <laughs> That's fine. And then I need you to make a Constitution save. Here for the real shot. That's fine. This is fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, and your maximum hit points are not reduced. <laughs> um, good. All right. The bolt, uh, after this, streaks forth from the altar. Yeah, it I was turns say, what's a the fiery blue-red 40. The damage is 40. That's fine. I'm still up. Okay. Barely, but I like how we can't see the hit point bars. I like that very much. <laughs> um, I mean, there was a jump. Tur but... Turns a fiery blue red, and uh, yeah, the bolt is still arced across the room. So I guess Rolda, are you still in that position, or did you move? Um. Well, no. From here, where did I go? I went and I looked at the uh, the archway, the altar, so... right? or the archway. Okay. Right. Okay. I was probably so... standing here. Okay, that's so. This thing arced across the room, and is currently making a arc of uh, lightning from one end of the room to the other, and it's turned a fiery red blue. I am going to take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> the one is like 
leg on the ground. She's like, Rolda, can you? Rolda, Rolda don't go through <laughs> that arch unless you put on the black Rolda. armor. Rolda. Do, oh, can you not heal yourself? Okay, here you go. Don't touch that again. I can do level three. God damn it. No. My heels oh. suck. Damn, that was not great. Yeah, so that that bolt of lightning is just hanging in the air now, burning. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Does it effectively split the room, did or is it like a wall of lightning, or just a no? Bolt? You can like go around it. Okay. Did Did anything happen with the altar other than that? Like, is it did anything change? Uh, no, it just burst out of the altar, and uh, the altar is still in the same shape and position I as it was. So it was pointless. But it's red now. Yeah. Well, red blue. It's kind of fiery red blue. Yeah. Over here, and I'm going to take a piece of gold out. Okay. Toss it on the altar. All right. Uh, toss it on the altar. Nothing happens. I'm going to grab one of the. Are these candles lit? Uh, actually, hmm. Do you hit the lightning bolt with the coin? Yeah. I'm, I'm throwing it like purposely on the altar. So Okay. From the side, yeah. So uh, make a dex make a make a ranged yeah. attack roll with the coin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just assume you're proficient at flicking coin, use dagger if you dagger thrown maybe yeah, if you got it. Assuming you're proficient with flicking coins. This is only the second actual dungeon we've ever done in this channel. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll try that. Okay, you good. You hit home. You don't touch the lightning bolt with it and nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Are these candles lit? Uh, the candles are lit. It's actually nicely lit in here. It's almost kind of cozy if you weren't trapped in here. Uh, Key3, mm -hmm. while you're over there, could you do a perception check for me? Yeah. Uh, that's not good enough. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I sit in the throne. Okay. It's it's nice. It's carved out of nice wood. Lightning didn't stop? Nope. Still hanging in the air. I sit in the throne and stop looking smug. <laughs> I, come over here, I come over here and stand on his right side. Okay. His right-hand man. I'm like... <laughs> No, I really thought the lightning was going to stop. I thought it was that simple. Yeah, uh, is the lightning but, connecting to anything? It's just hitting the wall. It, it's just it's just pouring from the altar to the wall. I think it just means this thing's open now because it's red and the door is a shade of red, just like it says in the in the poem. Eh? But you need to wear the black armor to go through. Eh? There's only one, though. Why would you wear the black armor to go through? Because night's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise not will not need sacrifice aught but a loop of magical metal. Does anyone have a magic ring? That's all it's going to take, I think. That because I oh, check I'm the, wearing red. Check him. Maybe he's got one. Eh? Oh yeah. What did the corpse? I'm going to check the corpse. All right. Uh, the corpse uh, does not have a magic ring. Just the black chainmail on it. Okay, I will start I peeling off his chainmail. Okay, you peel off his chainmail. Bones clatter to the ground. I'm gonna shake it and just kind of like tap it to get some of the people dust off, and uh, put it over myself. I'm sure it's like snagged on one wing, and kind okay. of like as much as I can. They're like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'll stand okay. up and go and help her into it. All right, retie the rope, which I have untied again. Every time she's not looking, I untie the sure rope. I'm just walking along with it in my hand. <laughs> I'm sure, it'll be severed by the archway, anyways. Okay. Okay. So, you go through the mist. Yep. Okay, uh, Rolla, you walk through the mist, and you, it's like you walk in and you walk immediately back out. Except oh. when you walk out. Okay. Wait, no. Go ahead. Uh, Rolda is now a male cobalt. Technical question. Can we tell? 
Probably not. Um, I don't mean. I don't mean like tell us what you look like now. I mean, is there a visual difference between a female cobalt and a male cobalt that untrained people would see? If, if you'll just, remember, <laughs> in Rolda's first appearance in Geese Thieving Bastard, she did at one point mention that she's been a guy before. Yeah. When okay. somebody called her a guy. <laughs> Cobalts can change gender like uh, certain amphibians if oh, the population requires it. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's not a huge deal for Rolda. <laughs> Him not. Uh... <laughs> well, wait. Well, I mean, Hold on. You just, you and then I'm going to walk so... through backwards. Okay. Uh, you walk back through it. And you come back the other, other side and uh, you are female again. Going backwards didn't make a difference? <laughs> no, no. Doesn't okay, seem... I'm gonna go through it a third time. What? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be a boyfriend. Uh, you come back out and you're male again. <laughs> That's a lot faster. Last time it's like it just is a gradual process. What is what? You just keep walking in and out of a door. Oh, um, <laughs> things are changing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel my empire side part shift around when I walk through the door. I don't know. Like your your stomach has butterflies or indigestion? Sort of. No, I feel kind of like when I was real young and I was a boy. <laughs> you know, Okay. I, there's a phrase I heard somebody say once. Let's put a pin in that. <laughs> and get back to it later. <laughs> All right. Well, so but, uh, yeah, this is not the place. Eh? I don't know. Try it out. Um, Come on, mustache is... man. Try it out. I'm going to investigate the throne. Okay. Uh... Gender swap key. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's, it, it Guy goes through it and it's just a portal. It's, it's still just, just Guy. Yeah. Come back in exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, give me an investigation check on that throw. That's a 12. 12. Okay. You don't see anything interesting about the throne. Okay. However, okay. to the left side, of the throne on the wall. You think you see a strange pattern among the bottom stones. This left or this left? Uh, which direction Stage left or camera left? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah just here. Throne left or, or oh, okay. parishioner left? All right, I'll, I'll look at it. Okay. Uh, if you take a close look at it, there's a small opening that you could insert like a coin or a ring or something into. Um, uh, gave for Dan the prank ring. Damn it! I have. Uh, well, I'll this is the other thing I realized reading through this is it asks you to sacrifice a lot of stuff, but you guys are packed with fucking prank items and shit. <laughs> I know. Well, here, I yeah, had that ring of thing. pranking. Um, my pearl of power. I specifically said I had mounted into a ring. Does that count? Uh, well, I guess I've one way to find out. Don't Absolutely. you need that? Oh, it only give me an extra spell every fucking day, and I shove it's it. It's called in the sacrifice. Hole. No, ah. <laughs> All right, uh, you put it into it, and the stone descends it to the ground and destroys your pearl power. Gee. And reveals an opening. Right. Yeah, for sure, that was worth it. Hey, yeah, let's go. Hey. I, I just had, a, and I pull out just a plain ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think, think it, had, it said work. a it magical said, metal. It says a loop of magical metal. Oh shit! <laughs> he bangs his head against the ground. I can make that seem magical. Shit! 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 Stomping <laughs> around the room, I've got Nistel's magic aura. I could have made it seem magic. Um. Oh boy. All right. So that was the doorway. <laughs> That's pure. Where's it at? Okay. So uh, it's just a, it's another rocky passageway. Rolda, over here. Wait, okay. before you come over here, decide if you want to be a man, a boy or a girl, I guess. No, I'm going to stick like this for a while. Okay. <laughs> for the record, <laughs> just say like, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you went through so many times, I lost track of what you are. 
All right. Roll this going through? Yeah, I went through an odd number of times, so. Roll those mail for the time being. All right. Yep, and I will go through. All right, Rolda goes through and arrives through a long series of tunnels here in this room filled with pillars. Hey, there's a room full of pillars! Columns, if you will. There's a room full of pillars! All right, Jabetta goes. Yeah, I will follow. All right. Muttering as I leave the room, keep the ring, prick. (laughs) <laughs> yeah I am so going to punch that asshole when we get okay. out of here so here is the throne that's key and oh. keyed oh. oh this massive room filled with these stone columns all over the place um. hmm don't wait Hold on. I'm going to look closely at the columns. I am specifically looking for small holes. Okay. There don't appear to be any small holes in the columns, but they do have a little bit of an enchantment to them. They're a little bit magical. As Keithry could tell you with her mage site. Like, Keithry, these, these, these columns seem funny. <laughs> and I think Eldritch that officially everywhere. makes it you've said it more times in this one shot than you said in all of season one. <laughs> <laughs> Canon, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are getting very close to the end of the poem. Maybe we do the third peek peek through the thing, eh? Well, we've only done one so far because the other one, it was within 10 minutes. Right. So. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to walk forward to in front of the throne. Okay, Ooh. I will stick with her because buddy sister. All right. And I want to look at the throne and see if I see any like keyholes or keys. Oh, I shall images. tell you what you see on this oh, throne. I hate that tone. The throne is uh, decorated in uh, dark iron with opal with uh, pearlescent skulls all over it. And resting on the throne is a simple scepter and a crown. At the base of the throne, there is a depiction of the same crown uh, on a small panel. And uh, it's decorated in all kinds of skulls and things. And it looks just like this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I sat in the last one first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will put on the crown and sit in the throne. Oh, my While God. While still wearing the black armor. Okay. And, and, and a boy. <laughs> 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 this looks like some pin shit. Look at that cobra. You're right? right? He would love this. Where the frick is he at? He would be all over it. All right. So, uh, so you put on the crown. Uh, first thing that happens when you put on the crown is uh, number one, it won't come off your head. It's Ooh. stuck on my horns. <laughs> are you uh, are you wearing your wig? Uh, yeah, and the horns usually poke through it. Yeah, so you can't get the wig off. Okay. Just a side note. And uh, yeah, currently nothing else happens. You sit on top of the throne. What do you do with the scepter? Yeah, I was supposed to ask that. Um, I guess Rolda will uh, probably hold it in her right hand as she uh, sits on the throne and try to pose like she's seen in paintings. Okay. He, like he's oh. seen in paintings. Like he's seen in paintings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we need a picture. Gotta, we need a picture now. Oh, somebody's got to do King Rolda. Somebody that's oh, black chain mail, the hair, that the the oh the. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to smile. Right, the fierce yeah fierce Rolda, fierce King Rolda oh in the demon God. throne. I love it. <sighs> okay. And then I sit there for a minute with my feet bobbing. 
<laughs> Waiting for something to happen. <laughs> um, here we go. Obligatory investigation check. All right. Yeah, check that uh, box underneath yeah. with the throne on or the uh, picture of you the... You seem to spend a lot of time reading there to figure out what's about to happen. I'm very concerned. It, look, it's it's very long. It was a lot to remember. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, oh, there's dice in his hand. <laughs> oh, shit. You investigate the throne. Uh, the things that you determine is uh, there's like a silver inlaid picture at the base of the throne. Yeah. Uh, the crown is made of gold. The scepter seems to be made of electrum with a gold ball and a silver knob on the other end. Okay. And uh, other than that, there doesn't appear to be anything else uh, particularly interested, interesting about it. It says the, uh, into the calm hall and there the throne that's key and keyed. I, so if nothing happens... Uh, after a oh, second, shit. I'm going to get up out of the throne. Hey, hey Rolda, can you take off the crown now that you're out of the seat? Uh, let me see. And I'll put the scepter back on the seat. Okay. And uh, attempt to take off the crown. Uh, nope. It's just attached to me, right? It's not like <laughs> restraining me. No, it's not restraining you. You just can't take it off. I'm gonna walk nope. Over it's my crown now. Give it a good tug. You, you lift <laughs> Rolda, and she just hangs there from the crown. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that makes this slightly more difficult, but I think we have to put that crown in that box. And I point at the front of the throne with the crown on it. How big is the box? <laughs> Rolda's going to put her head in this box. In the box. picture, it's almost exactly the size of the tr of the crown. Well, it's not, it's not quite a box. It's just like a picture on there. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. I thought there was going to be a tapping and it was all going to be grand. Okay. Um. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess I got a dope crown now. Um, uh, Keith, there, you, you uh, know that is there a hole? looking at it. Oh, Sorry. no, there is, there's no hole. Anything that scepter-sized hole? No? Okay. Yeah. No scepter-sized hole, but you know that it seems like the scepter and the crown are designed to work together. Yeah from your mage site. Like, they're emitting the same kind of magical energy. So these, the, the, these go together? Uh, okay, I'll pick is up the like, scepter looking again. Looking at the scepter, is there, like, a like part of it that looks like it will fit into the crown? Not quite. What if you, what if you touch take the, the scepter, scepter and... to the crown? I'm going to touch the scepter to the picture of the crown at the base of the uh, throne. Okay, uh, which part of the scepter? The gold ball or the silver end? Um... Hey guys, oh, gold or the silver? Crown was the the uh, crown's that's gold, the gold, right? Part to the gold the, crown, eh? The crown that you the crown that you're wearing is gold. The crown depicted on the throne is silver. <sighs> oh well. Oh, you put the I gold will... end on your end and the silver end on the yeah. Yeah, yes. like line I will it touch up. the silver side there. Okay, and I will hold on. You to know, the I gold thought side. it was bad. I had to sacrifice a ring. I didn't realize we were going to have to sacrifice a cleric <laughs> to get through this next one. No, no, uh, I'll be no, fine. No, no, no. So you're, you're touching the silver side to the throne and you're holding the gold side. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rolda okay. falls out of character. Yep. Uh, <laughs> or is that new Rolda voice? This the is good news voice, is, man. the good news is, the door opens. Yep. The throne shifts to the side. Yep. And the other good news is, oh, Rolda is no longer wearing the crown. And the bad news? The bad news is, Rolda is now a pile of ash. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and a wig. <laughs> Just a, the, a wig and a pile of ash. It's a the, the moment the circuit is completed, Rolda disintegrates. And the crown clatters <laughs> to the floor as the throne shifts away. <laughs> Let's see, wait, do I have anything for this? No, I don't think so. Okay. I am do, so do I have my anti disintegration anti spray? <laughs> uh, skills going. 
<laughs> no. All right. Are you sure being disintegrated doesn't count as difficult terrain? No. No, okay. I'm pretty sure that doesn't. That's not <laughs> there it. It wasn't. It wasn't like a spell or anything. Or. Okay. Oh, was so... it a counterable spell? That's good. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna ask. Did do I get a chance to try and counter it? I won't even ask if it's counterable. If I get a chance, mm. I'll try. It is not. <laughs> Can you revivify a pile of ash? You cannot. All right. I think that's that's all of ideas. <laughs> Uh, and at the sight of this, I want everyone else to make a dexterity save. Uh, oh, good. Oh, oh, that's not, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's very <Kay>. average. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's not good. Good enough for this. I will place. now just provide color commentary as large. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there's, not, there's not that much left. Uh, all right, so you guys don't do it, but Guy, at the shock of seeing Rolda disintegrate in front of you. <laughs> After what I, the last word she heard was, <laughs> we're going to have to sacrifice a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the last words he heard. He, were, yes. <laughs> you died bumped. a king. Where does Rolda go when it dies? <laughs> That's a good um, question. We'll get to that in just a moment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Finally get to talk to Kellenbor. Uh You jump back and you bump into the, one of the columns. <laughs> and you immediately begin to float like a balloon up into the air. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Uh, I try to... I'm still I'm, oh, I'm tied to the ashes, so there's 50 feet of rope hanging off of me. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You guys, you guys have a. <laughs> <laughs> we have an e balloon. I just starfish and freeze. <laughs> he said I'm tied to the ashes. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh, so my. as Gee is free floating, and you guys are holding on to the Gee balloon, uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking loving this. There is wind trying to carry Guy to the back quarter of this room. Back quarter? Okay, fun's over. Reel me in. Reel me in. I'm trying. So it's it's pushing him in this direction. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna run, run down and try and see, like, if I can see. What's she lets back. go of the rope and she was like, ah! what? <laughs> I'm not it, doing much. What's <laughs> back there? She grabs, goes up, goes, "This isn't helping." <laughs> <laughs> what's back there is your old friend, the Devil Head, uh, from the opening at the beginning. Um, let's just get in the hole. Uh, I'll run back and go, uh, let's just drag them, drag them, maybe yep. if we drag them to the new room. Absolutely. You guys can reel it like he's weightless. I mean, so I'm, it requires I'm, nothing. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take out something and try and gather up, um, rolled his ashes. Okay. <laughs> Sweep, sweep, sweep. I should have brought a fucking vacuum. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so that happens. And I mean, you know, it's it's rough. It's rough all over. Uh, in the next room, beyond the throne, there is this massive, beautifully decorated stairway. Am I still floating? Yeah. Okay. You you are floating until I say you stop. Is this up or down? Uh, it goes up. Okay. Well, the geek can just float right up. Yeah, it goes up to this door, this massive adamantine door. And resting on the stairs is a simple key. And the door has a recess in it, circular, with what appears to be a clear keyhole, as well as uh, a cup held out in front of it. Uh, I'm going to look at it with Eldritch Sight. All right. Uh, this door negates magic. Okay. 
So no uh, magic also that, magic. Also, that key is enchanted. Uh, hmm. With magic what? Key and non magic door. She said, casting detect magic to see what type of magic it is. Uh, it is a psychic enchantment, it affects the mind. This is a psychic enchantment. Does it infect the mind? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> it sure does. Well, I mean, we've come this far. <laughs> I imagine he's just decisions. bouncing along the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm holding really him like a balloon. <laughs> like I'm holding him low like a balloon. Wow. Just... <laughs> There's the cobwebs everywhere. Where Joe Betta goes, he goes. <laughs> it's not... I'm gonna press to digitate just to like waft ghee back and forth, just a light enough breeze that it's like. Ooh. And I, I like to think the mustache flaps in the wind. I just yeah. go along with it. Ghee is fine with being the butt of the joke. That's part of being Aris Discordia's uh, patron or uh, war warlock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. Um, damn it. Yeah, it looks kind of like this you can see the key laying on the ground the, it's very beautiful the, the architecture is amazing but this and is just this Jobetta's giant like, imposing door Jobetta's annoyed because she knows that she's probably like the she probably has the highest mind scores <laughs> <laughs> I have the most brain scoring <laughs> So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to put the key in the, I'll, I'll like pass Guy off to key three. Okay. <laughs> and then put, the key oh, in the, <laughs> put the, just put the key in, uh, actually you said there's a cup. Uh, yeah, there's like, there's like a little cup attached to the door as well. It's, Maybe it's, you need to make like an offering. Yeah. Another sacrifice. Eh? Do we have to do another? No. Cause the loop of magical metal would have been. I mean, I'll throw a coin. I'll throw like a coin in there. All right. You put a coin in there. And in a moment, oh God. Gilbetta is now completely nude. I've been waiting for that for almost a year, eh? This is fine. <laughs> you hear from behind you. <laughs> you can't <laughs> she let go. She let go. She was like, oh, wait. In an instant, every piece of non-organic material on you disappears. It's gone. Okay. You have no armor. You have no hammer. You have nothing. Do I still have the key? Uh, oh, did you pick up the key? Yeah. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom save. Well, uh, I'd love to if I could find the button. That's a 24 for you. Ooh. 24. All right. You're still okay, and you do still have the key. All right. <laughs> um... <laughs> So it's not shy, so this is fine. <laughs> she's just gonna roll it. She's gonna own it. <laughs> I don't think that was it. Um. Um. What if I put another? Oh, I don't have any coins. Can I have a coin? Can, can I have a coin? <laughs> she takes. She puts another coin in the cup. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, you can't get more naked. <laughs> All right. Um, reached the maximum level. <laughs> Maybe it's not coins? Um, I mean, I don't have anything else. Keep reach. There, there is a keyhole at this indentation yeah. in the I'm, door. I'm opening it. I'm putting the, I'm trying to unlock this door. As soon as she okay. starts to walk forward, Guy goes, da 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 <laughs> Okay. So... As you put the key into there, 
you receive an electric shock. Oh, oh you're going to die. For six points of damage. Oh. Okay. Fine. Uh, what was that? Whatever happened to mage handing everything? Like, this is a place where mage hand would be a, would work. Uh, key three, she, uh, she kind of danced a little bit. Did her hair stand straight up for a second? Um, but does the door unlock? Uh, the door does not unlock. You just get a shock. All right. Um, do you want to do maybe an investigation of the door? Yeah, sure. Um, and I'm going to... Hold on. <laughs> Gee's going to love this. <laughs> Joe, but... <laughs> She's going to um, cast Cure Wounds on herself. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> she's gonna go like this and like put her hands like put her hands like on her uh, on her chest. <laughs> she's like cure wounds. <laughs> <She's> not, she, <laughs> Keith, Keith, gonna dig in her bag and find her old cloak and just kind of fold it out. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. This is fine. Frankly, that I'm just gonna own it. She would still have to choose which half she was gonna cover. <laughs> It's just, the whole time, Gee's just bobbing in the wind. <laughs> yeah, he's singing and bobbing. <laughs> oh I'm trying to cast uh, your wounds. It's not letting me. Do okay, it. well. Oh, is it oh. SPU level? Yeah, it was just on the opposite screen. Usually it asks on the so, same yeah. screen. It asks on the opposite screen. Um, I'm gonna do... Oh, you're dual screen and find me. Yay. You're going to. Sorry, hold on. I clicked on it so many times. Okay, <laughs> there you go. He's gonna just keep populating. Yeah, it's fine. Um, all right, this is fine. All right. So, how many times did I click on it? A, a <laughs> so ton of times. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. Okay, uh, so that's, I get my. I'm taking my 15 health points here. Okay. Take your 15 health points. Um, and then, yeah, I'll investigate the door. Okay. Uh, give me that investigation check. There we go. So the I indentation. I'm, less, I'm more connected yeah, with I, the I'm earth. I'm better in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> the indentation in the door looks to be about the same size as the large gold ball on the end of the scepter. That the clattered to the ground when Rolda disintegrated. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I, well, I'm going to go back for it. Okay. I would, but it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go See, back for it. Just, uh, you you oh, grab no. the scepter. What's going on? And just before it actually, she actually is out of sight, I say to Key 3, it's okay, she's gone. Um, yeah so grab the scepter all right grab the scepter you gonna use it on the door um i'm gonna make mage hand use it on the door (laughs) (laughs) we learned a lesson (laughs) speaking of mage hand i use my mage hand to pick up uh, key three's backup cloak and put it over key three's head so she can bring her hand down (laughs) there you go (laughs) <laughs> I, I will take it off again if you need to see anything uh, okay. you can trust me can you <laughs> wait for the hand to go back up underneath <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. all right so the door slowly opens and you're greeted by a room filled uh in the four corners with terrible looking statues having giant morning stars uh, like the iron axes. men of visage grim yes <laughs> iron men with visages ever so grim yeah. Ooh, and that. inside there is a sarcophagus and the sarcophagus peels open and a ragged and disheveled figure crawls out as you can see a morning star on the floor begins to glow with a bright light And then the figure crawling out of the crypt says, who dares disturb the rest of a Serac? It is your death which you have found. Gilberta. 
I'm a brown bear. We're gonna, we're gonna take a little break there and come back. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> sure if you're taking a break. It is I, Owen Stone, who has come to <laughs> to come to kill you. <laughs> come to save you. <laughs> Alright, so before we're we taking break. a break. Before we go to break, we got to show them some stuff. Can oh yeah, we got to show some big stuff windows? Off. Yeah. Oh, some okay. things arrived today. Oh! Yeah, the Discord might be aware. But first, the shirt. God damn it, now they're oh, making yeah, Gilberta puns because I'm naked too. These ah. are available. If you, <laughs> if you check down our panels, if you check the merch panel, these are available. But also, we got a box land on my doorstep today. These little things, like the Moonstone Punisher. Hey! Uh -oh. The thing that I don't so have right now. The weapons from Forged Foam. So there's the Moonstone Punisher. There is the Blue Silver Quick Blade. Look at the, look at the paint job on this. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look at that. There is also, this one is ridiculous. Look at this. Shit. Yeah. It just keeps going. Duke Calgary's playing fist. Buzzy. Look at the buzzy. detail, though. Look at the detail they did. They got the hands crossing thumbs and stuff. The, so uh, and the uh, fire, the magma. way it changes colors. Oh, it's so, so big. It's it's incredible. Oh, it's got some cat hair on it. It's got this <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, Dan. I, ex I expect these, all these items to be covered in cat hair by the time I see them. <laughs> right. Now, these are going to, uh, you know, these were made for us by the folks over at Forge Foam. They generously... Uh, just like we're like yeah cool show we'll totally make you guys some weapons yep. yeah including the obsidian soul sever oh the legendary lich slayer of season one now thing about this if you're just joining us you may not be aware that they actually sent two of these the other one I haven't even opened yet I don't know should we just keep it wrapped and, and let yeah. the winner be the first one to see Sealed. it yeah okay we'll do that but uh, I'm sure it looks quite the same. Today is the first day any of us got to see him painted up. So if you want to win, not this exact one, because this exact one is mine. Yours is wrapped. You'll be the first one to lay eyes on it outside of the Forge Foam crew. But if you want to win one of these, when we get to 1,500 followers, we will be giving one away. So if you haven't given us a follow yet, make sure you do. Make sure you tell your friends. Get those numbers boosted up, because when we get to 1,500, it'll be giveaway time. And some lucky son of a bitch is going to get themselves in obsidian so god it's so cool it's uh, pretty sweet. <laughs> speaking of cosplay at gen con should we mention the other thing that we're doing right now raising As money for gen con hold your sword yeah might want to mention that yeah, yeah. raising money for gen con uh it's links in the down there part uh in we appreciate any donations you can give us uh we're just raising some money to cover costs for the trips we're all going to be there we're going to make some fun content it's going to be really cool you should check it out <laughs> Cosplay. Uh, there will be cosplay. There will be cosplay. <laughs> I'll have and to do at least like a little bit of Kishano cosplay. Oh, absolutely. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna cosplay as a dungeon master. So I'll come much as I see, as you see me here. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, you can see. But a DM, you can wear any costume you want, and you're just it's an true. NPC. I could be anybody. It's fine. I could go as Owen Stone. No, I don't have the, I don't have the no, build you can't. for Owen Stone. No, you literally can't. You literally, no. <laughs> Owen Stone is one of my favorite characters. You can't stop me. I, okay. I have the build for Owen Stone. I could totally be Owen Stone. You could You could be the build. You do have the build for Owen Stone. All right, so I think we're going to take a little break. Yeah. And yes. we'll be right back, and we're going to wrap this up. All righty. Welcome back to Mercenaries and Mischief tonight with the Tomb of Horrors. And we are back. Back. Hello and welcome back. When last we left our heroes, uh, Rolda changed genders and turns to dust. Uh, Guy started his new life as a balloon. Yes. <laughs> Jobetta became a nudist. And Keith is somewhat embarrassed. Uh, just taking Which is it all in. A at least it's a change from anxious. Um, it's true. And, <laughs> and yeah, some, some terrible unhead, undead horror has crawled out of a tomb. Oh, right. There's that. And claimed to be a Sarerak. Claimed to be. Oh, you bastard. Tee <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, throw up a crisp, quick round of initiative, everybody. Yeah. Oakley, Oakley. Let me go. I fight from up here. <laughs> Ooh, do I ever? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Do, do I rolled a natural best 18. Can oh, move? shit! No, let's go first. I got I'm a ready. 20. I have a hood That's... over my head, but I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeesh. Yeah, I rolled. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't have much of anything, but... <laughs> the ash comes out of the mason jar that Keith <laughs> put it in. <laughs> All right, Keith 3 you're up first. It's waving its hands like it's getting ready to count, cast a spell. Great. There's this I'm... brightly glowing morning, morning star resting on the floor. Uh, is... <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Um, I'm gonna like. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, I'm gonna pick up the morning star. Okay. Can All right, you pick it up. Can I still attack? Sure you can. All right, I'm going to stab the guy with my sword twice. All right. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. stabby. Ooh. Ooh, oh, many oh. stabbies. I don't like you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Blood and ichor fly out, and it's waving its hands like it's trying to cast a spell on you, but you're... Cast it back, and as you strike it, the maze, the mace in your hand glows brightly. Okay. All right. Um, next up. Balloon. Balloon gee. Yep. Uh, I will. <laughs> Keith, <are you> like <laughs> when you both come home with the balloons and you try to hit your sibling with the helium balloon on the string. <laughs> Yeah, she let me go, so I float right up to the ceiling. Yeah, you float uh, up to the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reach Don't down uh, there. and I pull off one of the uh, what color? Violet, the darkest one, the color of night. If I can get as close to it, pull off the violet star off my robe of stars and cast magic missile at fifth level. Okay. On it by shooting those stars at it. All right. Which I have nicely set up here. So 24 points of force damage. It is battered to shit. It's practically fallen apart. It's like, <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, done. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, G drifts over here. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <The> recoil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was... Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with I know I said I was going to turn into a bear, and I, but I'm going to start. I'm going to do. You built it up so much. I'm going to do my turn undead first. Okay. Um. So. Wisdom save. We need boy to make a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, he does not. Yeah. All right. Um, then he is turned for a minute or until he takes damage. Okay. Uh, and he's got to try to get he spins his turn trying to move as far away from me as he can. Okay. And it can't take reactions. Uh doesn't take much cuz after you finish your turn, the mace in uh Keithry's hand shines with a brilliant white light and a Sarak turns to dust. Oh. Now is when the, the 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 Iron Men come alive, probably. And a bunch of uh, clattering of uh, valuable gems and equipment fall to the ground. Jabba's like, oh. did, did that seemed too easy to anyone yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Use uh, uh, Gil- Gilbert. Oh, oh, everything. Oh shit, Gemma Seeing is gone. Uh oh. Where'd you go? Oh, Jovetta had it. What? The gem of seeing. And everything. Actually, Rolda had had it and Rolda disintegrated. No, I had it. No, Jovetta had it last. I only used it once and handed it to her. Okay. Either way, it's not here. Um, Nope. Uh, I'm going to look around with. 
with Eldritch Sight? Uh, you do look around with Eldritch Sight, and you actually see uh, there is some magical energy coming from a wall panel behind this statue. A statue uh, to the left? Uh, this one right here that I'm pinging. I'm going to go over and, like, knock on the wall. Okay. Uh, it's it seems to be a simple magic uh, magic door. You you could dispel it fairly easily. Uh, but as you knock on it, you actually hear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Put my head to the this wall. Be like, hi. Do you, do you need a hand? Who are yes, you? Yes, please. Um, I could somebody open the door. <laughs> are you going to hurt us? Oh, what am I doing? Uh, no, I just, uh... Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty sure he's not going to hurt you. He actually sounds a little scared. Uh, okay. Um, can anybody get this thing? Uh, yep, and I turn, so I'm belly up against the ceiling and crawl across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking hilarious. horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think to get around it. <laughs> and then you've got to like claw scares, into scares, the scares, wall scares, scares, scares. and yeah. slowly. It is okay. This is the most colorful version of the grudge. <laughs> <laughs> this brightly colored rainbow mustachio man <laughs> clinging to the wall, crawling down, defying physics. <laughs> Jobetta, Jobetta's like as a Jobetta's as a bear playing with the rope, (laughs) batting at it. All right, you're you're clawing your way down, Guy. Yep, and when I get close enough, uh, oh, I have to get down to. uh, No, I can do it from 120 feet away, but it's more fun when I climb down the wall and touch it. So yeah, I scratch my way down the wall and reach on and slap my hand on that space and cast a spell magic. Okay. Uh, it disappears, and inside there is a small, simple crypt. And inside the small, simple crypt, you see a skull God. with a single eye, and the eye is a bright green gem. The skull has a horn in top, and it begins to speak. Hello! So, funny story. Serac doesn't live here anymore. (laughs) And I totally wanted to meet him, but got trapped inside. So thank you for rescuing me. And underneath him is a pile of Jobetta's shit. Like, it's just all hey. her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is Rolda there, too? No. <laughs> Damn. I think I can get us outside, and now that I'm out of that container. <laughs> Who are you? Name's Scott. How's it going? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Jobetta, as a bear, walks up and sniffs him. <laughs> Sniff him. Uh, Eat you with the nose there. <laughs> My fingers get tired. I let go and I slide up the wall. Back up to <laughs> and Jobetta, gr- like, Jobetta yowls in pain because she, when she was playing with the rope, it got hooked in her claw. <laughs> so when you start sliding up... <laughs> let, let it go. It's, he drifts away. <laughs> So, so, can we get outside? (laughs) That would be very nice, thank you. Do you know how to make him stop? Because, you know, outside. Oh yeah, put on the crown, buddy. (laughs) No, don't, no. I hate not figuring shit out. (laughs) That drives me nuts. Uh, uh, he he does work out a uh, a powerful dispel, and he drifts slowly back to the ground. 
That was all. I was there was always the option of casting dispel magic on myself, but it would have stopped the fun. So no, you, you wouldn't oh, have. have uh, you wouldn't have been that. able to do it. You don't have the skill. It no, specifically okay. says you need like a wish level spell. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're just yeah. levitating forever. Uh, so Scott gathers you all, and there's a flash of light, oh. and you are teleported outside of the tomb of horrors. And outside of. Uh, well, if you gather it up, it comes right. with you. I well, imagine I you gather. gathered your shit up. <laughs> it's like in a pile like, I'm in trying, your I start. I try to do it initially as a bear, and I'm yeah. like trying to, <laughs> and I can't like, <laughs> I can't get it. And I've got like the moonstone hammer like in my mouth, like I just can't do it. So then I come back and my and like I don't let I don't give any warning, but I stand right in front of Kid Three, <laughs> and I just boom right back <laughs> into the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> Please. Do you have getting... trouble picking up small items as a bear? <laughs> bear claws. <laughs> as you start around uh, your neck dressing, and grab. as you start dressing, Guy starts yelling down from the ceiling, "Put it on! Put it on!" <laughs> <laughs> so terribly sorry, Keith. <laughs> once you're able to collect yourselves, uh, Scott teleports you guys outside, and outside. All the stands are there, but they're empty now. And so is the stage. And there's a simple puppet hanging, just laying on the stage now. Yeah. And there is a fenced off area with a sign that says Loser's Lounge. And Rolda is standing in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's, and she's got a stein of ale and like a churro. <laughs> Hi! Rosa, you're alive! And Gilbetta runs up and hugs her and like picks her up and spins her around. No, 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 okay, all right. Pull out the jar of dust and be like, but, uh, uh, okay. And just dump it out. <laughs> Did you keep the crown? Careful with that, that's grandma. <laughs> oh, sorry. We thought it was Rolda. No, I'm here. Who has the crown? No, Rolda was wearing the crown when it blew up. Yeah, it just clattered when to the she ground. Blew up. Oh, okay. No, you didn't save it. I don't know. So does that mean this is canon now? Actually, I guess I walk <laughs> up to you and take the crown off because I'm back down on the ground now. Oh no, he just spelled you. Back. Don't take it. He said, "No, nah, no, nah, don't take that home. You're gonna be haunted <laughs> okay. by demons." <laughs> okay. Also, if you wear it outside, you go blind. I already have a hard time seeing outside. It's the, it's outside. the worst possible thing. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you carry the crown and the scepter, two demons. You get double <laughs> demons. <laughs> <laughs> they have churros. Do you want to say, so, so did, did we win? I see they also have ale. We win. Uh, <laughs> Scott kind of rolls around. Absolutely. <laughs> it, I, Scott the Demi Lich, bestow upon you your prize. Please store me in your bag. Wait, wait you're the prize? What? Yes. We've, we've had not so great experiences with uh, the Liches. Please, I'm a Demi Lich. It's completely different. Um, Only half as bad. What's the alternative? Just leaving? I want to walk over and see the um, the puppet <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> I suppose you could abandon me to the mountains on my own. You seem you've been doing fine so far. Unable to meet my good friend, Sarah Rack, who I'm sure was just away on vacation. Wanted to see me for certain. Who wouldn't? I'll say, welcome to the Avalon Knights, and I'll pick him up and <laughs> shove him in the... Hooray! <laughs> Scott receives a, a sending from Lenny. Hey, I just need to know if you're coming from Poker Night. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. head count until I can figure out, you know. In a minute, Lenny. How's your daughter? <laughs> oh, she's doing great. She actually just got into... Oh, oh, no, you're not listening anymore. Exquisite! <laughs> yeah, that's my thought. <laughs> Just let me know when you when you have an RSVP. I don't know if it's plus one or whatever. 
And that is our Tomb of Horrors adventure today. <laughs> okay, so where did we land on the cannon thing? <laughs> <laughs> on the cannon thing, you have taken Scott back with you. Because <laughs> yeah, if it, because I also have a gem of seeing now. Yeah. So and that's G- also cannon. And G sure. is missing his pearl of power, so maybe if you want to be cool, <laughs> give him a thing. Yep. And we have a shit ton of. <laughs> Although uh, Kithriar has more than enough sight, gold so. to buy another pearl of power. Well, sight. actually, uh, oh, yeah, that trade. Gold. Well, yeah, if, realize, every, if Rolda didn't die, two thousand gold, two thousand electrum, and four thousand. If Rolda didn't die, then is his, is his sacrifice? Is his, you know what I'm uh, once you get everything home uh-huh. and you pull it out to pile it all together, they're all uh-huh. copper pieces. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> eight thousand copper, eight hundred silver, eighty gold, <laughs> eighty gold for a couple hours work. Don't, Don't get, get the conversion rate. rate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it works. Convert Which up. happens to be when cool. we get back home. When we get back home, uh, Jobetta will um, s- send uh, send a note uh, and whatever funds are needed to replace Guy's Pearl of Power to me, whoever she needs. Oh to no, no, no! To. If this is canon, she we, doesn't we tell you she's do doing that it because no, because Pen will kill me. He's been looking for a Pearl of Power since the day I took this one. <laughs> Uh, well, it doesn't tell you she's doing it, so I just it'll come out. Stuff. It'll come out in the wash. Yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for joining us today. This was kind of a special experiment. Thank you for joining us on all this uh, craziness. Uh, I hope you, I hope you guys had fun. Thanks again to Sakura for being our producer today, hosting on uh, on the back end and uh, in hanging out with our shenanigans. Uh, lastly, I got to talk about what's going on on Saturday because the fun isn't over yet this week. Saturday, we're doing a special game where I am dungeon mastering Dingo Doodles, Joe Cat, and Felix, the mastermind behind the Fool's Gold campaign that you always see on Dingo Doodles in an evil campaign one shot also featuring Penn, and not playing Penn, of course. He's going to be some other evil guy. And it is going to be a bananas. Yeah, a different <laughs> evil guy. <laughs> and that is going to happen on Saturday night, uh, roughly around the same time as this show happens. So time zones are weird. And it's also going to be canon for the world because we're going to check out on what happened with Owen Stone and Zelos when they went away from the Sword Coast. Is it the same Uh, time as this show or the same time as Sunday show? uh, It's the same. I don't remember. I have to look at it. (laughs) Let me know so I can make sure it's correct on the schedule. We have a schedule on our panels. Yeah, we'll have have it scheduled in the panels. Also, keep track of us on Discord. You can follow us there and get all the upcoming news and what's going on. Keep track of us on Twitter where we can put up little notifications when we're going live. And I occasionally post art and maps and retweet all the great people, uh, you know, with the show and the things that they're doing. And you can check those out. And well, I mean, even if you miss the live show, you can catch the restream. I'm watching chat. <laughs> catch the stream. We're going to put it on YouTube. It's all going to be there. Um, and that's what we got going on this week. Of course, we got the things down there you can donate to. We got Child's Play and everything going on. We're, we got our own trip that we're funding uh, for Gen Con in uh, Ju- August, end of August. Ju- July, August, yeah. It's, Ju- yeah. July, August. July, August is correct. That hot part in the middle of the year. What we did for our summer vacation. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, Scott is officially part of the world now, and I can. He's in my bag. (laughs) Uh, If you want to get your own Scott shirt, check the panels for the merch panel. Yeah, we do have Scott down below. Red Bubble Store. If you like Scott, you can get Scott shirts depicted just as that there. I'd have one of my own, but apparently went missing after it was delivered to my apartment complex. So I order another one. Well, the good thing is, I don't think there's many of them out in the world. So if you ever see it. Right. Yeah. All right. And uh, stay tuned for a raid. Yeah. Stay tuned for a raid. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. And thank you so much for joining us in the tomb of horrors. (laughs) (laughs) 
a song about Nate the Necromancer. All the ladies loved him, he was a neck. Romancer, wing wong wombi, it's a skeleton and zombie and a ghoul and a ghast and a vampire song. Nate got married to his goth girl wife, had five daughters, lived a happy, happy life. Wing